This video will show you how to make use of the new cascading list question type. To get started, let's open a survey. Save it down. What we want to do with a cascading list question is give enumerators the option to go down a set of uh, levels where we've predefined the options available to them. Um, for example, if we have a set of states, districts and towns, we can provide a list of the t districts that belong to a state and the towns that belong to a district so that there can be no impossible com uh, combinations. How do we do this? Let's add a question type. New question. Choose cascading list question. Let's aim to have the user select one of our projects. Save the question. Um, there are two ways we can go about this. We can either manually add columns and rows or upload an options file. Uploading a file is often the best choice. So I'll uh, open an Excel spreadsheet, started creating one. I can define the columns and rows as I like. Let's add a project header. And then let's create the paths. So I need to say that the user can go down this path, Ghana, country program, sanitation program, and let's say the Shama project. Similarly, this might be the Accra project. For education, we can say there's another Shama project. Instead of being in the sanitation program, it's in the education program. And I can keep adding options as I see fit to tens of thousands. So, so I create a file with the my defined columns and my defined rows. I make sure to save that as an Excel file, XLSX. And then I go back to my survey. Here I can then upload the file. And I see the options here in the question. I can manually then still add columns, change options, or add rows. Rwanda, education, this time it's a Kigali project, or I can say, type a new one, like so. So now I've got this list of options, the list of cascades, I will save, and this is how it will work. First the enumerator will see only the country, from the options we've provided. Once they've selected the country, they no longer see the options for Rwanda, so we do not see a water option. And for education, we see that one option. For sanitation, we see two options. And the enumerator is led to choose the Ghana Sanitation Accra project, and cannot choose something impossible like the Ghana Water Urban project. This data can then be used uh, to drive conditionality later in the survey, or to filter in your analyses in dashboards, maps, data grids, and consoles. Note that if you're updating this list and you upload another file, it will overwrite what is already there. So if you're making substantial changes, um, please be sure to disable the existing question, not to lose data, and then upload a whole new question. Otherwise, you can use this interface to manually change some of the data as the situation is updated. 